In this video, to, we will see the features of software or what we call it as characteristics of the software. If we see the characteristics of the software, the first characteristic is like the software is always developed or engineered, but we are not going to manufacture it in the classical sense. That means we are not going to manufacture the software like we, we are going to manufacture the hardware components. Okay, so remember whenever we talk about software, it is always we are going to develop the software or we are going to engineer it. The second feature is software doesn't wear out. Okay, when we say wear out, it means that if we see the hardware components, obviously the hardware components are going to wear out. And to show the wearing out of the hardware, we call it as the bathtub curve. Here in this figure, I am trying to show you what exactly the bathtub curve means in case of the hardware components. Okay, here you can see that uh, the infant mortality is there. That means the hardware components are uh, going to fail when we are actually manufacturing it. Okay, that means uh, in the initial stage, the har hardware components can fail. That means that the failure rate is very high due to manufacturing defects or due to the defect in the design. Okay, once we are going to correct the hardware defects, the failure rate is dropping. That means it is becoming steady over here. Okay, and after a certain period of time, uh, the failure rate sorry the failure rate rises again because due to the overuse of the hardware components or the vibration or the abuse or temperature extremity may lead to wearing out of the hardware components which leads to the hardware failure okay and the relationship is showing you the bathtub curve which is showing the hardware failure okay whereas if we compare this one with the software if you see as we know that the software doesn't wear out okay it doesn't wear out but basically it, due to the changes its quality may get uh, degraded okay so here i am showing you this is the the curve what we are showing it is the idealized curve okay wherein we are thinking that the failure rate is going to come down as a uh, we are uh, maintaining the quality okay so because the software is not susceptible to the environmental maladies that means uh, it is not going to wear out as that of the hardware okay but here to show the software failure i am using the idealized curve due to the undiscovered defects or undiscovered errors the failure rate may go high okay hence resulting in the uh, uh, like um, failure of the software okay but in general if we see the failure if whatever the errors we are encountering if we are going to rectify it the actual curve will be something like this wherein there are increased failures due to many changes okay what changes or updations we are doing in the software so uh, the due to the changes the failure rate may increase and if we are going to rectify those changes again the software failure rate will come down so here we can see that the actual curve or, or the software failure is in the form of spikes okay so this is about the uh, software failure okay the third one comes uh, the third feature it comes in the form of software are custom built okay as we have seen in our previous video the different type of softwares here always remember that most of the softwares are custom built that means it is based on the customer's requirement like graphical user interface window pull down menus etc okay so these are the uh, features of the software hope you have understood it thank you